I'm Everett Manchel with Landmark Implement. Today I'm going to be covering the new changes on the model year 20 combine as far as uh, combine advisor and harvest smart goes uh, with all the automated adjustment features. We'll begin by going to the menu button, applications, and you will see your combine advisor tab right in the middle of the screen. I also have this and I would suggest for you to do it as well. At the bottom of the screen, I have already got the uh, combine advisor quick key loaded on my toolbar down there. So at the press of a button, I can open up combine advisor. I'll walk you through this in the top left corner here. We have our current settings. This gives the operator quick access to combine adjustments and shows the currently selected preset. You just press on that and we can go in and make our adjustments to our uh, rotor speed and our clearances, our fan speeds, our chaffer and sieves. We can also set our overall um, performance target for our loss monitor on this page as well. Over to the right, we have our harvest optimization. So we have our optimized performance button. Operator can press on that and it gives us once again our current settings of the machine. And then you can select what issue you're seeing, what uh, problem you're having with the machine. So for example, if you're having broken grain, you just press the broken grain check mark. And if you're having a little bit of broken grain, you know, minor, if you're having a lot of broken grain, then we'll select major. It's a major issue we're seeing. So then over to the right, it gives us our recommended solutions. So uh, the first one would be increase your sieve. So you can scroll through to the multiple solutions and pick the one that that you like the best and then just simply press apply and it will apply it to the machine. That goes for any of the issues that you see going across to the machine. It's the same scenario. Right below it is our automation keys. The top one is Harvest Smart. Below that is Active Terrain Adjustment and then at the bottom is auto maintain. We'll start with Harvest Smart. What Harvest Smart does is it just automates our ground speed to ma maintain a constant engine load. So um, we're just, we're maximizing efficiency with this machine. So all you do is just slide your slider to on and then over to the right of it, you press and it opens up your Harvest Smart window. This is a new look on this 2020 combine. It's got your power meter on it. Uh, you can go ahead and set your, the yellow arrow is an adjustment where you want the uh, power target to be. And then when you're running, there'll also be a black one, which shows where it actually is operating at, as well as it gives you the percentage readout. Over to the right, You've got your maximum speed you can set. And then at the bottom, we have our aggressiveness, how, how aggressive this machine is gonna shift. So if it seems a little jerky, you might have it too aggressive. Um, they do have, with this um, new Harvest Smart, um, it's got an updated control logic so it allows the shifts to be smoother than before. So uh, you shouldn't notice a, a, a jerky motion. They've smoothed that out. So you've got a check mark at the bottom, manage target with grain loss. So Harvest Smart now is going to be looking at the loss sensors and it's gonna be speeding and slowing up this machine using the loss sensors. If we shut manage target with grain loss off, it's just gonna be managing this speed off of uh, engine load and 
speeding and slowing you up, not using loss. Below, next is active terrain adjustment. So once again, you just hit the slider, slide it to on, and to make your adjustments, just press to the right of it. You can increase or decrease your up and downhill sensitivities, as well as over to the right where it says offset tuning. Uh, we can look at our chaffer, our sieve, and our cleaning fan. So I'll just press the chaffer and you have a step size. That's how many millimeters that chaffer or sieve is gonna be opened or closed when you command it to. Uh, right now it's set at two millimeters. You notice the check mark include in automation. So as it's adjusting, this machine's gonna go ahead and adjust the chaffer. If I would not want my chaffer to adjust, I want it just to stay where I have it set, then I would uncheck that. So it does give you some options as far as what gets adjusted. So your chaffer and your sieve can be included or excluded in automation. You'll notice your cleaning fan is always included. So it is adjusting the speed of our, our cleaning fan. And below that is auto maintain. So auto maintain is utilizing our cameras on our clean grain elevator and our tailings. And it's going to adjust this machine to keep it within the parameters that we set. So to do this, you just turn it on Press the set performance target. Hold on, let me back up here a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to go ahead and when you're harvesting, you're going to have to come into current settings and you're going to have to set your combine to where you're comfortable with it, where it's it's doing a, a good job. Your losses are, are low um, and it's threshing well. So you are going to have to preset it. Now when you get your combine set there and you're happy with the performance that it's doing, then we'll come down here to auto maintain and turn it on and then set performance target. So it gives you, this is new with this model year combine as well, it gives you a bar graph next to the target that slides across so you know how close you are to finishing uh, setting their performance target. So once the performance target is set, then your combine is going to actively adjust uh, chaffer and sieve, um, all the features that you have turned on um, to increase productivity and efficiency, as well as, you know, make the operator comfortable um, not having to make those adjustments uh, constantly throughout the day. So I'm gonna slide that off so it quits looking for a target. Over here to the left is our automation status. So as we turn the top ones, Harvest Smart, uh, the second one is Active Terrain, and then the bottom one is Auto Maintain. So as we turn those on, it'll tell you over to the right of the, the green light what if it's been requirements have been met. So active terrain says not ready. All you have to do is press on that and it will tell you why. In this example, I'm setting still not harvesting. So my machine's not running. So obviously it's not going to work. So right below that, is history and a live camera. We can press that live camera and we can look at our grain, clean grain elevator, our camera mounted on that, or you can select tailings and look at your tailings, or you can select both. Uh, under the grain, it gives us a view grain analysis that you can turn on. Auto maintain had to be on, so now I've got my camera up and I can look at a grain analysis for broken or, or foreign material. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. 
At the bottom here we have the history button. You have the ability to look at the performance of your machine. Uh, to the right, it'll give you a bar graph across here and show you how you're doing on the separator and the shoe and the tailings and down below your quality as far as your broken grain and foreign material. Um, we can choose from productivity, which is acres per hour. Uh, maybe you want to look at bushels per hour or throughput. Uh, it'll give you a bar graph and let you look at how the machine's performing. In the middle, we have active, so it will show you the changes being made, why they've been made, and when they were made. And then it'll show you the completed ones. So anytime a change is being made, you'll see a blue. It'll be highlighted in blue, and it'll be a circle spinning beside it. So you know it's actively changing. So <clears throat> this is the the new combine advisor, uh, the new look of it. So it's it's fairly similar to the old one. Uh, have some nice changes with it. Um, a little different look and layout to it. Um, so if you have any questions about what you've seen today, please contact one of your local Landmark dealerships and speak with a customer technology specialist or with a mechanic or even a salesman and we can get those questions answered for you. Thank you.